Hello everybody, how's it going? So it is Sunday, it's actually Easter today and um, just thought I would vlog and catch you up on what I've got going on. I am about to do something fun so I wanted to show you but before we do that I want to show you what I'm wearing. I thought I would wear something a little bit different today put on a little dress for Easter <laughs> and then it was cold so I put on this cashmere sweater and socks too. So I basically just look super crazy right now. This is a really cute dress that I feature in my videos a lot. It has like the prettiest little ditzy floral print. There it is. Yeah, and I got this from Mango like a year ago, I think, and just really love it. So I really wanted to make some cookies, um, but I didn't want to waste like eggs and things on baking because I never <laughs> bake and it's been really hard to find eggs in the store lately in case you haven't noticed. So I got some of these um, I've actually used to eat these a lot when I was younger. If my mom is watching this she'll think it's pretty funny that I bought this because she's not um, that interested in baking either so she would always just get these instant cookies from Nestle which are actually really really good. So I'm going to do that now. It's literally so easy. They come in like cut squares just break them apart drop them on there see if I can do a little transition here and let's bake and they're done yum there you go got some Easter treats and now to resume chillin Kyle and I don't really uh, like celebrate Easter on our own we usually spend the day with family but since we're here we're just gonna do something easy tonight and also yummy and that doesn't require a lot of cooking very relaxed day Sunday uh, we're just gonna chill for the rest of the night basically so I will check in with you guys later good morning guys um so today is Monday and as you can see I have my bathroom <laughs> very cute I'm getting a little bit of a slow start this morning, but I've been thinking about it for a while. But I think I want to give myself a little haircut at home. Please don't be alarmed. <laughs> you can tell by the title of this video whether it went horribly wrong or not. I've been thinking about cutting my hair for a, a long time now, like about a year. This is the longest my hair, curly hair, has ever been and I'm not really cut out for the kind of maintenance of it. I want a short haircut that's really low maintenance. Normally I cut it pretty short and then let it grow out for like a while. I don't get regular trims and I know it's bad. I've been wearing my hair curly for close to eight years now and I've done like two or three really big, big chops. The last one was four years ago. I shaved my head and really enjoyed the short hair for a while. But I feel like since then I've learned a lot more about styling my hair. So I think that a short haircut, I could style it a lot differently now. So yeah, that's the plan for today. My hair's quite long, I'll show you later. I've been looking at reference pictures online for a few days and then kind of reading tips about doing it yourself. And I put it off long enough already so I'm just ready to do it. I also have really bad allergies this morning. I just took some allergy medicine so I'm really hoping that kicks in soon. I'm gonna start by doing it maybe about this long and then style it and see how I like it. Okay, let's do it. So this is before. <clears throat> just a lot of hair. Too much hair for me right now. Um, yeah. Um, what I'm doing is finding the individual curls and then cutting those. It feels so much better to have short hair again. I am so happy I did this. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely trim that little piece. I think I'm gonna let it dry, style it and let it dry and then trim those pieces off. I feel so much better. There's something so interesting about putting your hair. Like I feel like it releases a lot of energy or something. It's really good. So I still have some conditioner in my hair and I decided I'm just gonna let it air dry and then style it, I think. Let it air dry for a while, but guys, check out these are baby hairs. I told you guys about this rug and how it sheds, but like, I was not exaggerating. Look at all of those fluff balls. Drives me crazy. When we're here on the weekends, we just track them through the house and I just literally cannot do anything before I take care of this. So now I'm gonna try to get some work done actually, cause I really need to 
sit down finally at my computer. It's almost like 11.30 or something. <laughs> Got all just sidetracked this morning. I quite like the idea of having like a really short haircut right now, but this is a good start. So I might live with this for like a day or two. We'll see. my tea steeping currently i don't know if you're supposed to put milk in while the tea bag's still in probably not but i don't really care not my tech stuff and some pop tarts because i am a child <laughs> hey guys it's a little bit later now i found a recipe on the new york times instagram or new york times cooking instagram and it's for like a miso pasta recipe which sounds kind of odd basically because we've been eating a lot of fried rice lately and i wanted to try something different so here is the recipe in the new york times post um so i'm making this pasta which is whole grain pasta and kroger is actually a supermarket that they have all over the south um and i didn't realize that kroger brand or kroger is also what ralph's is owned by so it's funny you now that I go shopping in California at Ralph's and then I buy Kroger stuff still. Not that interesting, but um, then we have miso paste. This stuff is great. And then the recipe calls for like fresh grated parmesan. We don't have that, so I'm thinking of just using this. Right, and also butter. I'll let you guys know how this recipe goes. the last step is to add nori which is um, like Japanese seaweed chopped um, or furikake which is like a rice seasoning this is seto fumi I don't know what that is I think it's a type of fish but I don't know which one <laughs> you guys have probably tried this before if you've had poke before so okay gonna add that and see how it is. I have to say it does look much better with the foodie cookie on it. It looks like an actual meal. So now we're gonna eat this, try it out, and watch Terrace House. If you don't know how it's supposed to taste, then it definitely tastes the correct way. It's not fun. Good morning everybody. It is Tuesday and um, Kyle's here working from home today, which is nice. We just ran out and did some errands today, which is now obviously a very fun thing to do. And we stopped by the Japanese store and picked up some lunch. Have some sushi here that we're about to eat. This looks so yummy. Got some tuna, salmon, nigiri. I don't know what this is. I want to say it's probably like teriyaki eel, maybe? I'm gonna start doing it big. Sushi every day for lunch. <laughs> then I do a little Japanese grocery haul for you all. So, we just got back. Um, mochi ice cream. Delicious. Okay, I got a couple boxes of these actually. So good. I think you can actually buy these at Trader Joe's too. You want to try them? Got some tofu, a few things of these. Uh, a lot of this stuff is for my dad actually because he does not have a Japanese market near him. Got some ombu, which is like um, a type of, it's just one that they prepare um, seaweed. This kombu is really good on just like plain white rice. And it kind of has like a sticky and slightly sweet flavor. So good. <clears throat> um, speaking of things to put on rice, <laughs> I got a bag of white rice, which has been very hard to find at normal grocery stores. This is the foodie cocky I was talking about, but this one is salmon flavored. Delicious. Got one for my dad too. Also wanted to get um, chazuke, which sake chazuke, I guess. Like seasoning that you put on ochazuke, which is rice and green tea. That's what this picture is of. I also bought these because I was standing in line and I found these and they looked really good. These, I think I've had a similar cookie. My family would buy, what are those called? Oh yeah, they're called Yokumoku cookies and they are like a really thin wafer kind of like this. They're so delicious but they're 
Um, you have to, I think you can only buy them from like New Marcus. So these I found, they look really similar and they're matcha filled. So that just looks freaking delicious. And then I also bought a couple of boxes of this curry, which is just a really, really simple curry to make. You just like heat up the pack in there and basically pour it over. It's a really delicious and super quick meal. So yeah. This is my Japanese grocery store haul. Kyle and I have been very busy today, like running errands and stuff. So we just came back to have some lunch. We don't have a laundry, like washer and dryer here in our apartment. So unfortunately we had to go to the, the laundromat, which is just not ideal. <laughs> yeah, so we've just been like eating lunch and catching up on some emails here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try these little Japanese wafer cookies now. I got the matcha flavor, so they're a little bit green. Mmm. Wow. It actually really tastes like matcha. It's a very interesting flavor. It's like matcha-y, but also like a little bit almost like jasmine tea, like really sweet. I recommend. Now to go to laundry. And we're off. Ah, clean. So I was gonna do my hair today, but I think I'm actually just going to do some more work because most of today was spent like running errands and just being out most of the day so i haven't got a whole lot done today tomorrow morning i will show you how i style my hair very excited to see what that looks like and to show you our very beige colored um dinner tonight i just made some vegetable gyoza which is pot stickers we had some leftover um green beans and a little bit of tofu so we mixed that together and then the rice then i added the pita cooker this is kom kombu it has like some sesame seed uh, seasoning and it's like sticky, kind of sweet seaweed. And for dessert we have some mochi, we have two green tea and two mint chip. Very good. Morning everybody. So I just got out of the shower when I washed my hair but you can't really tell because it already looks dry. <laughs> but I'm going to style it now and show you how I style it and it's short. Maybe like trim it a little too in some places and then get on with the day. So let's go. I don't know how I feel about this anymore, but I'm over it, so time to get dressed. <laughs> so I finished styling my hair. The top is still really frizzy, so I feel like I could do a better job with that, but I need to order more hair supplies, basically. Um, yeah, I like it though. I look so 70s. In conclusion, cutting curly hair is very difficult, and you probably should not do it at home, unless you're just gonna buzz it which I don't want to do at this point so <laughs> um yeah but whatever it's just hair it goes back and I'm glad I don't have long hair anymore because it's driving me crazy let me know what you guys think how did I do this look awful if you think that don't tell me I'm kind of nervous about putting this online because I don't want to hear all the comments what I want to do is buzz it and then like dye it blonde it would be really cool Maybe that's just the quarantine talking. I'm gonna finish editing this vlog and upload it and please be nice in the comments. Um, yeah, but anyways, I'll see you guys next week. And I might have a different hair by then. We shall see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more and I will see you in the next one. Bye.